somewhere around 26th of August when Prabhupada was on the boat, he had the first heart attack. That heart attack was when he was sleeping, this, heart, this side of the heart was completely, you know that heart attack symptoms, the people become almost like unconscious. It was completely grabbing his body. He was shivering. So somehow recovered. Second day night, he had the same heart attack, but in a severe place. And he somehow survived that part. And third day he was thinking, with one more heart attack, he will not survive. The third day before night, he was praying to Krishna that, see, I have come here on a mission of my Guru Maharaj. He wanted me to preach in this Western world. So it is not for my personal thing, but I, on behalf of my Guru Maharaj, I, I pray that I cross this thing and execute the mission of my Guru Maharaj for this time. And that night, when he slept, he had a dream, in which he saw Lord Krishna was personally ruling the boat with all the incarnations and all the acharyas in that boat. And the ship of Prabhupada Janaduta was anchored to Krishna's ship and he was crossing this Atlantic Ocean and he reached the shores of America. Means Krishna is giving assurance, you, this will pass and you will execute the mission of your Acharya. So with that assurance, Prabhupada did not reveal this and for next one week he did not write anything in his book. But later, after 3-4 years, in one lecture, Prabhupada explains what actually happened. That he got assurance from Lord Krishna that he will be able to fulfill the mission of his Guru that night in a dream. And uh, that was actually what happened. So because of whose mercy, that ship, that passport of Prabhupada, which enabled him to cross the ocean, has enabled many of us and is enabling many more of us to cross this ocean of Saiglata and to start going back to back to the college. So that is the potential. Because Lord is there for the devotees, devotees also go beyond their capacity. 